The following tutorial is intended to help you begin developing research questions or thesis statements for the essays you are working on. Anyone who is doing a research project in a college or university soon discovers that it involves more than just compiling data and reporting on it. This illustration shows that data can come from many different sources. A research project is less interested in asking what than why or how. It calls for you to dig beneath the surface of an issue and do some analysis in order to solve a problem or at least answer a pressing question. In a nutshell, a research project is strongly goal oriented using data to answer a problem solving question leading to a solution that advances knowledge. Consider the question, to what extent do the Taliban represent, represent a genuine vision of Islam? Notice some of the characteristics of this question. First. The answer is not obvious. Second, you will need to analyze data related to the nature of Islam and the teachings of the Taliban. Third, the question intends to go beyond merely collecting data and tries to advance our knowledge. Here are some of the pitfalls students experience with research questions. First, many students ignore the need for one. This results in a project that usually just compiles data rather than using data to address an issue. Second, some students ask a question, but the answer is obvious from the compiled data, so no real analysis is needed. Here's an example. Notice that there's no real issue to deal with, only the information to gather. Third, some questions are much too broad. This leads to a superficial treatment of the, que of the topic. Here's an example. Notice how much data you would need to cover in order to provide an answer. Fourth, some questions are vague, showing that you are not really clear about your goal. Here's an example. Ask yourself, what aspect of Saddam are you considering? What do you really want to discover? Fifth, some questions are multi-part, splitting your purpose. Research questions should only deal with one issue rather than several. Here's an example. This question has two issues. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder is one issue. Labeling alcohol containers is a second and separate issue. Sixth, some questions are too open-ended. These call for a number of possible answers, thus making your goal unclear. Here's an example. Notice that there could be a variety of effects in a variety of regions over a long period of time. Let's look at some examples of good questions. In this first one, you have a specific region, a specific approach, and a clear question related to a difficult issue. Notice that this next example, like the one before, demands analysis of data and is focused on a single clear issue. One more. In this case, you have three options and must evaluate them to recommend one. We have seen what research questions are. What then is a thesis statement? It's simply a proposed answer to a research question. Ask your professor if you need to use a research question or a thesis statement. A good research question or thesis statement is often the key to a good research paper. Take time to develop your question well. This concludes this tutorial.